Hello, my name is Niger and welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about loss of cabin pressure or how it's called in aviation depressurization. What is depressurization? Depressurization, also called decompression, is the reduction of atmospheric pressure inside a contained space such as the cabin of pressurized aircraft. It is potentially a serious emergency for an aircraft flying at a normal cruising altitude for most jet passenger aircraft. Aircraft depressurization events are rare, but they can occur with little or no warning. The faster you put your oxygen mask on, the better the chance that you will stay safe and remain capable of helping others. Modern aircraft are designed to fly at high altitudes. For example, a Boeing 747 aircraft normally cruises at an altitude of 35,000 feet. This is because aircraft consume less fuel and fly in relatively smooth air, avoiding bad weather and turbulence. However, the human body is not designed to survive at such high altitudes, so the air pressure inside the cabin must be controlled. Loss of cabin pressure or depressurization is normally classified as explosive, rapid or gradual, based on time interval over which cabin pressure is lost. An explosive depressurization occurs in less than half a second. This usually only occurs in small aircraft flying at very high altitudes. A rapid depressurization is more common and is usually associated with larger aircraft. Depressurization occurs in a matter of seconds, at a rate greater than 7000 feet per minute and is normally associated with a bang and a sudden fogging of the cabin air. By the way, also, I need to mention that in the event of rapid depressurization of an aircraft at an altitude of higher than 10,000 meters, instant death of all living things on board occurs. As we know from physics, the higher we are located, the less is the temperature of boiling. That's why when you're at an altitude of greater than 30,000 feet, your blood, which has a temperature of 36 degrees, will immediately boil. And the last one. A gradual depressurization occurs over a longer time. Due to the gradual change in air pressure, it is difficult to recognize before the oxygen masks fall from the cabin ceiling or in case the flight crew is experienced enough so they are able to recognize it while feeling that they are falling asleep. And it is very important for you to understand what to do and how to use this emergency equipment in case the pressurization events take place. When it comes to pilots, in case of uncontrolled depressurization, the crew will want to descend immediately to an altitude at which they and passengers will able to breathe normally without any supplementary oxygen, usually given as 10,000 feet above mean sea level. Once your aircraft descended to the safe altitude, you are no longer in danger. I share with you this information not with the purpose of scaring you, but with the purpose of informing you. That's why don't afraid of flying, just be ready to any situation. I hope this information was useful and interesting for you. If you have any questions, write them down in comments and I will answer them in my next videos. Thank you for watching, goodbye!